Here they are. The panels are on the roof, ready to be mounted. One of the last steps here in the process, wiring the MC cables down to the combiner box and everything's ready to be turned on. So, excited about this part. We have 18 panels going up total, um, 230 watts for a nominal rate of 4.1 kilowatts per hour of peak sunlight. As you can see, it's, it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock. The uh, panels are about to be shaded, but they've had, you know, eight, nine hours of sunlight. So it's a great spot. And, uh, stoked to be doing it. Here are the Pro Solar rack mounting ends. These pieces slip between the rail, twist, and then tighten down. And uh, they clamp the panel right here and hold it down onto the rail. And there's two of them. You know. And then uh, in between the rails, the same piece underneath, but we do a sandwich piece. And that has a little bit longer bolt that goes with it one of these guys so we're gonna start putting the panels up now I don't know how to stage it just don't don't slide it just I'll tilt it up in one of those holders and then one of those climb up Also measure and make sure it's still at two feet when we put that in. What we have here is our the end of our string, which is the neutral cable, and these little pigtails that pop in from the back of the panel. Uh, they lock and they're thermal and weather resistant. Proof. They're, they're good to go. So we want to zip tie all of our points of contact that we can with the rail. How about we zip it to this? Event eventually, yeah. Yeah, I think they should do. Um, Let's go under the rail, though. Here's the connector for in between the modules. The bolt comes down. And this little thing here is called a weeb. The weeb sits on top of this contact point on the rail. This slips right on top. This slides, the sandwiches against the rail, and it acts as a washer. There you go. Now these little points here need to slide underneath the panel and when they crank down they pierce the anodized coating on the side of the rail or of the panel and 
ground it to the rail. So that's our mission on these ones. Almost done. A few more to put into place. The wiring is working out so far. It's looking pretty good underneath. Got it all tucked up in bundles. I'm gonna pull that tight and zip tie it all. Should be pretty nice. All in all. Yeah. Trying to make it look pretty under there. We're hiding all the wires down this rail. And we're gonna take military spec zip ties. Um, reinforce our cheap zip ties that we're using right now. And uh, should be able to crawl under all this and do that later. But uh, otherwise, if we have one more panel, we are set. Final connection. We are connected. Hallelujah. Nice work. Lower this guy down and we're good. Okay, last connection. We got all the panels laid out. Everything fits. We got room for another couple panels, it looks like. <laughs> Looking good. Cutting off the extra rails because they stick out a little too long. I smell smoke. Woo. So Leo's putting the siding on right now, making it look pretty. Bundled all the wires. And we're going to tuck them up under the roof there, and it should look good. So here the panels have been installed. We have 18 230-watt panels for a total of 4.1 kilowatts. These have been wired in strings of three panels each. There's six strings total, and they've been tilted at 15 degrees uh, facing south-southwest. And this is the completed mounting and grounding to the rail. And as you can see, I'm very happy about it. It looks nice. 